I'd like to talk to you for a minute about YouTube and the Democrat controlled media, especially social media. I got involved with YouTube back in 2006, right after I got extensively involved in the pro-life movement. I started interviewing pro-life and Christian leaders all around the world, especially all around America, or I should say a lot of world leaders all around America. And I developed a number of views and a number of subscribers. Initially, things were going fairly fast, I would say. Before I knew it, I was up to 200,000 views on my videos and hundreds of subscribers. And then I got up to about 700, 800 subscribers. And I would say about 400 to 500,000 views somewhere in that neighborhood. And things started changing. I, I noticed that the views had gone down and the subscribers had gone down. And it just didn't make sense. It didn't make sense. I mean, you look at it, if I was getting 15 subscribers every week at least, and then all of a sudden it hit that certain point, or can't remember how many, but at one point it was like 15 subscribers a week. And the number of views were a minimum of 50 to a couple hundred a day. But then the subscribers went down to trickle, you know, one a week. And the views went down. As a matter of fact, the views didn't just go down. I, it was at a point where I was going from thousands of views to nothing. And I wrote YouTube and I said, what's going on? Why, why are, you know, why are the views going down? Why are the subscribers going down? And they sent me back a message, something ridiculous, like, oh, it takes a while sometimes for things to get updated. And I was naive and gullible at the time. And I believed that that was what was happening. And About a week, two weeks later, all of a sudden things updated a little bit, but not enough. So I knew things weren't all the way back to normal again. And I sent them another message and they said, yeah, it's normal. Don't worry about it. But you know what? It never recovered. They were obviously throttling my website, uh, my YouTube site, and I didn't know that this was something that was probably happening to other people. And I still did videos. As a matter of fact, I have over 500 videos and it's about 550,000 views right now. And these are powerful videos. I have interviews with Vice President Pence, Granted, back time at the time he was the governor, but he's vice president now. And Senator Brownback, Senator Franks. Um, oh my gosh, there's just so many senators, congressmen, Christian leaders, pro life leaders, governors. And, uh, you know, there's nobody that has that kind of resume. I, you know, I've, I've interviewed and spoken with almost everyone that has anything to do with pro-life. And it got frustrating, and, and the whole movement got frustrating, just for various reasons. And then when I was trying to file the nonprofit papers for Cherish Life Ministries, those were being held up. And I fought that. And a month went by, and six months went by, and a year went by, and the Democrats, the Democrat-controlled IRS, 
they just blocked our registration, our application for nonprofit status. And I'd talk to them on the phone and I'd say, what's going on? I, I would call the IRS almost weekly and ask them what the problem was. And, and, and they would tell me things. I remember one, one day a woman told me, well, you got to teach abortion. I'm like, excuse me? I'm, I'm pro-life. I'm, I'm educating people on why abortion is bad. She's like, oh, no, no, you can't do that. You have to teach both sides of the story. You have to be fair. You have to teach abortion. I'm like, are you nuts? Do you think Planned Parenthood encourages women to not have an abortion? Do you think any organization that teaches something also teaches the other side of it? I mean, it's like, okay, I, I teach good. I'm a Christian. I teach about Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, you know what? You've got to teach about Satan too. Satan is glorious. Satan is kind. You got to be fair. If you're not, <laughs> then your status is denied. I, I just, I just couldn't believe it. I was just so outrageous. So time went by and then one day the news broke about, it wasn't just me. It wasn't just me being held up with my application for the nonprofit status. There were many other Christian and, and conservative organizations that were, were being blocked by the Democrat controlled IRS. And I sent out a tweet a message on all of my social media sites and I said, you see, this is the kind of thing that happens to us. When people control the government who don't like other people, and if they are extremists like the Democrats are, they will block our efforts. And I said, here I am, Cherish Life Ministries, 18 months, and they still haven't passed my application. Well, the next thing I know, I got a message from Tom Recco over at Thomas More Society, and he said, hey, Peter, you want me to help you out? I said, Tom, that'd be great, but I can't afford it. And he said, no, 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 don't worry about it. We'll take care of you. You know, there's people here to help folks like you, and, and we'll just, you'll be fine. And I said, Tom, you're a blessing. I don't know what I do. I mean, 18 months of fighting this thing, it's just too much. Well, after a couple of months, sure enough, Tom took care of it. And, wow, again, what a blessing. You know, there are a lot of good Christians out there that help each other. And I interviewed Tom a couple of times, and uh, that's that's how I met him. He's a he's a strong pro-life person. He helps pro-life organizations and Christian organizations, and uh, definitely one of the best organizations in the world. If you want to donate some money? You can go to Thomas More. Uh, gosh, look up Tom Brecca and Thomas More, and and donate some money. Those folks can definitely they can use it, and they do a lot of good with it. So I got my nonprofit. And there was a point behind the nonprofit. The point was that you could be a nonprofit and that you could still get your, your um, 501c3. And I proved that point. So anyway, I gotta cut this video short because I find that if I go over 10 minutes, they mess it up and all kinds of weird things happen. I'm gonna update this, there's gonna be a part two more about how uh, the Democrats mess with us, but we've got to keep on going, we've got to be aware of it, and we've got to help each other. So I'm Peter Shin, logging out. Life in unity, pro-life unity. Be aware, not afraid.